Good morning, David Vincent, Superintendent with Wiley ISD. I hope you had a great day, and I hope that you're ready to read because it is going to be a story about giraffes. Who doesn't love giraffes? I, I love giraffes, and I also wanted to tell you that you can buy, actually, you don't have to buy anything. You can find more books about giraffes or other animals in the library. No, 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 no. It's National Library Week, and we want to make sure that you know and can appreciate the libraries we have at our schools, at the libraries we have in our communities. And kids, like your parents to take you to the library. It's really awesome. Parents will love it too. Many different things. All kinds of stuff at libraries that we might have not thought of. Books, uh, digital books. You used to call them books on tape. They're not any longer. You can get a lot of different things as far as that on at the library now. So today is I'm not a chair. And of course he's not a chair because he is a giraffe. And it looks like that bunny is appreciating the ability to go sit on the not a chair, but giraffe. But I really like this book. So let's get going. I am not a chair. On Giraffe's first day in the jungle, he felt something wasn't right. Now check out all this fun stuff that's happening in the jungle, but then check out the giraffe. What do you think is different? Hmm. I'm gonna guess. Can I share that chair? Chair? I'm not a chair. Giraffe knew he needed to clear things up right away. Look at that. The bunny wants to sit where the rhino is sitting and that kind of worries my friend, the giraffe. But splat. I love monkeys, I gotta admit this. There's a monkey, and that's a crazy monkey. He is eating some bananas and good from what he thought was the chair. When I said splat, it made him where he couldn't talk because he couldn't get the words out. Oh my goodness gracious. And why is that? There's a skunk sitting on the chair. I'm a giraffe. Can't they see? I have spots and ears and eyes and these. Hmm, whatever these things are. Hmm. I wonder if you could go to the library and find out what they are. If they couldn't see the difference giraffe would have to show them. Snap! It looks like he is creating a pile of wood for something. Twist, clank, clonk. Oh yeah, that is a giraffe motivated to make sure people don't think he is a chair. Now that's a chair. Looks nothing like me. No. Oh. New friends were already headed his way. Problem solved. Oh, look, the giraffe's happy, and uh, you know the hippos look pretty happy. I would be glad they were not sitting on me because hippos weigh a lot. You know how much you can find out where hippos, how much hippos weigh? Ah, eh, library. Okay. Oomph. Wobble, wobble. Smash. Oh no, my chair! Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. That was some havoc being waged by the hippos. I'll fix it. Sniff, sniff. This goes here, that goes there. Giraffe's day couldn't get any worse, but at least no one could sit on him now. Look at that. They're trying to fix it. They're trying to help. I try to help sometimes and I don't help. But there's our friend, the giraffe. He needs some help. Flap, flap, flap. While giraffe looked for a solution, someone was spying on him. Look, the birds are now using him for quite a different use, not a chair. And there's someone looking at the giraffe, but it looks like it's binoculars. 
or binoculars, again, you got it, go to the library. A human, a human, surely he'll know who I am. Look at those spots. That is one crazy human. He is getting ready to go look at that giraffe. What did he do with him? He captured him, tied him up, and put him on the top of this car. But he didn't do it. He, I, I was going to think he was going to send him to a zoo, but no. Ah, he thought he was a chair as well. Not just the animals. Wow. That human's going to go to sleep and look what he did. Smarter species. Well, yeah, right. Talking about the humans. Enough! I am not a chair. And I'm speaking up to the next animal I see. Look, that is a guy showing a little bit. He has his cranky pants on. He does. But this is somebody else. Roar! That's kind of scary. What is going to happen next? That's what I like about books. The next animal I see will be my dinner. Who is that? Yeah, it's a lion. And he's got a, a pointy point there. Ooh, scary. Even if I have to sit here all night, the lion still thought that my good friend was a chair. Giraffe wished he could run. He wished he could hide. He wished he wasn't so afraid. No! I need to speak up. I need to be mine, me, and... Giraffe couldn't hold it in any longer. Sometimes we all have to tinkle. Yeah. He has to go to the bathroom. What is going to happen next? Okay. Here goes nothing. Go. Nope. Excuse me. And that lion's going, huh? Ah, my chair's talking to me. Oh, ah, oh. Sometimes pictures say it all. You don't even need words. Ah, run, beard eye, a talking chair. Crazy, right? So, what is he saying now? I am not a chair. I am a giraffe. And the next day, he told everyone, and everyone felt right. Look at it, dude. Oh, my goodness. Nobody's using him as a chair. Maybe if he would have just talked to everybody and told him them about it, it would be different. Me, a chair, can you believe it? I love this story because sometimes people think that they can look at someone and decide who they are. It's better to get to know them. And you know what? It's better for you to talk to others and tell them a little bit about who you are. You're a great reader. And if you're not where you want to be in reading, you're going to get there. You know what you need to do, though? Read every dot and practice. And believe in yourself and know that sometimes we're going to struggle. But in the end... Great readers are those who keep trying, show grit, and never give up. David Vinson, Superintendent, Wiley ISD, National Library Weeks. Have a great day.